it is really fascinating to see some real work being done in the medical field through generative ai google deepmind has released a second paper about med gemini and it has introduced three new models to the family first model is med gemini 2d which is able to process radiology pathology dermatology and ophthalmology images then the second model is med gemini 3d which is able to process ct images and then we have med gemini polygenic which is able to process genomic images all of these are based on the multimodal capabilities of a gemini model medical data from diverse sources like biobanks electronic health records medical imaging wearables biosensors and genomic sequencing are enabling the development of multimodal ai solutions that can better capture the complexity of human health and disease while ai in medicine has primarily focused on narrow tasks with single input and output images recent advances in gen ai show promise in addressing multimodal multitask challenges in medical settings everywhere these days you see all of these llms and large multimodals such as flamingo pally gpt4 llama mistral lava and the list goes on and on and on and all of them are promising significantly increased context length and improved multimodal capabilities and all of them suggest that the realization of highly complex multimodal reasoning across various medical data will soon be achievable and that is where these models which are already in the domain such as medpom and then its successor medpom2 clinical camel metalpaca biomistral scgpt and others are really making their mark but those are mainly related to text now things are moving beyond text the recent research has extended the capabilities of these base multimodal models by by building the models that cover various medical imaging modalities like med palm m med flamingo as well as that focus on a specific imaging domain such as radiology the release of the gemini models which was done last year and early this year with their advanced multimodal capabilities and bre breakthroughs in long context understanding has marked a significant step forward in multimodal reasoning <clears throat> the best thing about it that it is human focus because medicine is a field in which advanced multimodal systems like gemini are expected to be transformative and that is what this model has done exactly if you look at this diagram this is an overview of google's approach to curate and assess their family of medically tuned gemini models or med gemini at the top these models built upon gemini's powerful capabilities in advanced reasoning multimodal understanding and long context processing and rich with patient representation and medical knowledge relative performance of med gemini compared to sota or baseline across various tasks has already shown that med gemini 2d sets a new standard for ai powered chest x-ray report generation with relative improvements of 10% and 18% over the previous leading models across two distinct data sets also in histopathology opth ophthalmology and dermatology image classification it has already surpassed baseline uh, uh, distinct data sets and also baseline in uh, 18 out of 20 task and approaches task specific model performance med gemini Polyge uh, polygenic outperforms a standard approach for disease risk prediction and generalizes to disease for it for for which it has never been trained now all of this med gemini is it is a family of generalist medical ai models fine tuned from gemini and it is capable of performing a diverse set of medical tasks including medical image classification vqa report generation and genomic risk prediction med gemini extends gemini capabilities to include interpretation of diverse medical data including both genomics and 2d and 3d medical images 
they have also evaluated gemini and met gemini on a comprehensive set and you can read more about it in their paper and i will drop the link in videos description now for instance if you look at this uh, diagram this is for processing 3d data ct and the gemini video encoder was used here where the time dimension was instead treated as a depth dimension and for processing genomics data the risk scores for a variety of traits are encoded as rgb pixel in an image if you look at the various results then you would see as i mentioned earlier that med gemini 2d has already outperformed the general purpose larger gemini 1 ultra in distribution checks x-ray classification task and then there are various other evaluation tests which are awesome and really mind-blowing for example it has outperformed on skin legend classification and a similar trend has, has been um, uh, observed for uh, fundus classification they have uh, seen similar situation and then <clears throat> this team also evaluated the med gemini 2d model on a medical visual question answering vqa and model was very very strong beating all the rest of the state of the art models now <clears throat> If you go beyond a simple narrow interpretation of medical images, these researchers have also evaluated Med Gemini 2D on chest X-ray radiology report generation, and you can see here that it has outperformed all of the sort of uh, models out there. There are a lot of other awesome things happening. For example, beyond the 2D images, Med Gemini 3D was applied for automated end-to-end -end CT to report generation. And based on that uh, expert's evaluation, there is a lot of room for improvement still, but they are going into the right direction. And I'm sure it is really going to blast it out of the way. Now, let me show you a few of the examples. So you see that this image was shown to the model and the prompt was, is there plural effusion in this image? Answer yes or no. Response was yes. And then next prompt was how to treat it. And then it has given us a treatment prompt. And the clinical review by a real physician, human physician, was that model responses are reasonable. Similarly, second one was not as performant, but still close enough. Same here, some of the things were missed, but still model has improved. And these are the very early days, by the way. And then second one, the uh, physician says that need to change the most common cause to a common cause. So it is just a wording, but still model is coming close. And then again, in this one, it is aligning with the ground truth. And if you go through the paper, you will see that in most of the example, this model has really aligned to the ground truth and it is very, very close. So amazing stuff. So I believe that these multimodal generative AI models exemplified by powerful models like Gemini they hold huge potential for revolutionizing healthcare. While medicine is a rapidly growing use case for these new models, general purpose model may not naturally perform well in the medical domain due to its highly specialized data. And this is, these results show that. So Google has done a wonderful job by developing these several models within the new MedGemini family. And it has built upon the multimodal foundation of Gemini and fine-tuned on a diverse range of medical data, including, as I mentioned earlier, all the fields. So while advanced capabilities on individual medical tasks are useful in their own right, I think in the future, these capab capabilities are going to be integrated together into a comprehensive system to perform a range of complex multidisciplinary clinical tasks, working alongside humans to maximize clinical efficacy and improve patient outcomes. That's it guys. I hope that you were also impressed by it. By the way, it's a closed source. It's not open source. You can't simply just pick it up and install it on your local system. You can definitely access it through APIs. And I believe you can access it in Google Cloud through Vertex AI. So that's it. I will drop the link to this paper in video description. If you liked it, please consider sub subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.